In this video I will show you how to power off your Samsung Galaxy Android phone without the power button. The power button is here and it is working on my phone here, but I want to show you what happens if your phone power button doesn't work and you need to shut down the phone to send it for a repair or just to power off the phone. I will show you how to power off your Samsung Galaxy Android phone without using the power button. For whatever reason, if you need this, maybe the power button doesn't work and you need to shut it down to send for repair or to power it off temporarily, you don't really need to use the power button to turn off the phone. There is one way you could use, it's actually you could use the Google Assistant to power off the phone, to ask it, or the Samsung AI to ask it to power off the phone, but there's a much easier way than using the power button or the Google Assistant or Samsung Assistant. You can swipe down from the top here to go to the quick settings menu. And here in the quick settings, you see there are lots of, so you swipe down from the top of the phone, you go to the quick settings menu. In the quick settings menu, you swipe down one more time. So you see the full menu here, all the options. Here you can look around if you want to change some settings, you can. But what to look for now when you power off the phone is this here. That's the power, power button. So it's like on a computer, you have your power button there. You can also have the phone connected to a computer, keyboard, screen, mouse in the DEX mode and then you can use the keyboard and mouse to turn off the phone easily. But here we have the power button and I will show you right now. So I pressed it. So once I press this power button here, it shows me the same menu as it shows when I press the power button from here. And I will show you, so if I press it from here, long press, so long press from the power button, if I do only one press, it turns off the phone. Like if I did only one press, it will lock the phone. If I do a long press from the power button, it shows this menu. And all I, I only I only use the power button now to show you that it's the same menu. I'm not using it from now. So swipe down from the top, press the power button, and I here I have all these options. The power button is a virtual power button on the screen, and I can do power off right there. Now the phone is shutting down. Thanks for watching. You can also do a restart the same way. Now to turn on the phone without the power button, you might be able to do that by plugging in the phone to charge or by long pressing on the volumes. This really depends. But in this situation, you might really want to get your phone power button sorted if it's not working. But if it is working, you would just press the power button right here. So let's try volume down. Okay, volume down doesn't seem to do anything. Volume up. Let's see if you can even, you can, let's see if you can actually start the phone without the power button. So plug in the charger and it's showing the charger indicator but i'll still need to press the power button to start the phone yeah so it's charging 97 percent okay press the power down i'll try to press the volume up and down at the same time let's see what happens Nothing happens. Take out the S Pen. Yeah, so you might be able to start it. You might be able to shut it down. You might be able to power off the phone. But without the power button, you would not really be able to start it as far as I know. Maybe with the software, you could try to start it, plug in the USB and start it remotely from another software. But to start it, you need the power button. And if your power button doesn't work, you can take it in for a repair. But this is how you turn off the phone without 
the power. And this is how you turn off the phone. This is how you turn off your Samsung Galaxy Android phone without the power button. But it's not how to turn it on. That's it. Thanks for watching.